Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University. And I uh, saw an app over on the front page of XDA and figured I'd download it and play with it a little bit and make a video of it. What do you think? Uh, it's called Sidebar, and you can get it over in the Google Play Store. Um, just type in Sidebar, and you'll see that there's a light version and a pro version for $1.99. I just installed the light version. I got a request in to see if I can get a pro version to show you all the features. Um, but this is pretty sweet. It's by a developer by the name of Mohammed Adib or Adib. I think it's Adib. Maybe it's Adib. I hope I did. I'm sure I mispronounced it, and I apologize for that. Um, but great, great application. I was just reading some of the comments. Everybody's liking it so far. Uh, you've seen the feature over in the multi-window from the Galaxy Note 2 recently on the Galaxy S3, the sidebar that comes along with it. Uh, it's been kind of buggy. It's we're just kind of hacked into the Galaxy S3 TouchWiz ROMs. Uh, and so a lot of them have taken it out and just going to wait for the official one to come. So this kind of brings back half of what we had with that. And there's other copycats out there too. This is just a really good one. So this is how you activate it. First, you're going to want to go into your app drawer, find sidebar light. When you touch it, check out what happens. See that hand come over here and actually open it up? Watch. That's pretty sweet. So a hand actually comes and opens it up. And that's what it looks like, okay? It's just a clear sidebar here. You can add up to eight on the free version, and then it's unlimited uh, with some more options on the $1.99 uh, version. So uh, if you wanted to add a new feature or a new application to the sidebar, you see the plus sign right there. You're going to click on the plus sign, and you have these options, toggle Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, sound, rotation, brightness, torch, and a new one, running apps. This is brand new to this update 2.7. Uh, if you click running apps, we'll put it right there, and you see you can see these here on the bottom. Those are the running apps right now, which is pretty cool. So that's a new feature with this here. Again, just all you have to do is swipe from the left off the screen to the right. If you want to add more applications, you have all your downloaded applications here as well that you can choose from. All you have to do if you want to add one is just touch it and it will add it right there to the side and touch it and it will add it right there to the side but I said like I said it's up to eight and then you gotta pay the dollar ninety nine so uh, you can touch anywhere off the bar or just hit the back button and it will get you out of it uh, and it will disappear you do have this notification up here in the notification drawer you can remove it in the dollar ninety nine version you can't in the free version uh, but it's kinda cool because it's kinda like your settings menu if you click on the application icon in your drawer it's just gonna bring up the hand and pull it open so you kind of need that notification in there so you can get into the thing. So uh, these are some of the options that you have. You've got your set on boot. You've got your on and off button up in the right upper right-hand corner right here. You can thickness and the transparency are not able unless you are uh, on a paid version. You can change the animation speed. You cannot change the color scheme or lock the items. You can change sensitivity and height. but uh, And you can also change the position of it. And the top left, right, and center what this is, is this little bar to the left. See the thing that's blinking white? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit skinnier. You see it blinking over there? Okay, top left is that one right there. Center is right there. And this is the area where you're going to be able to swipe, and bottom left is there, in order for it to uh, recognize it and open up. Okay, and I'm just raising the height so it's just a little bit bigger, and I can just use this whole blinking area right here. But you see that there are several features that are not able to be uh, used in the free version, so it might be wise to just go ahead and get the $1.99 version, but it works very well. You see how nice the animation is? I love that. Look at it. It just whoosh right out there on the screen. It works well. It doesn't slow the phone down. It's very nice looking and great job. So um, this is called Sidebar. You can get it in the uh, Google Play Store for $1.99 for the uh, paid version or free for the light version. Uh, you do have limited settings on that, and great job, Muhammad. Appreciate it. Good job on that. I'm going to keep that on my phone. All right. Thanks for watching today, Android University. Don't forget to check it out on YouTube, the latest and greatest apps and ROMs for the Samsung Galaxy S3. You can watch them before you flash them. Thanks for watching. It's Hobart. Have a good day. See ya.